understand this. <laughs> I just don't get it. Yeah, 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 you're strong. Jiggle, jiggle. Push, push yours down. Is that it? Yeah, I think we've got to push down. Oh, yeah. Off. It's a glider. Oh. That's good. Really? And it should have a lever. Oh, oh. Okay, that's push. So I can sleep with him. Yeah. I think I'd rather sleep on this right now than my bed because I it, everything I'm so uncomfortable. How much was it? Not cheap. I don't remember, but oh, I remember thinking I could. Yeah, look, I could be like, but you know what? That's really nice. I'm gonna leave it out here for now, and then when he moves into the nursery, then I'll move this into the nursery. Welcome back to my channel, everybody, and welcome to my new rocking chair. Did you oh. Have <laughs> My bum or something. <laughs> We've seen it all here. Now it is technically a public holiday today, but you know what that means when you run multiple companies? She got to work. Well, I don't. Willingly, so, willingly. Kurt I'm not her that. boss. Obviously, you guys know Tally is my sister. I'm not technically her boss. Kurt is her boss. I haven't done a very good job of explaining our work dynamic, I don't think. I think I need to do like a dedicated video about that. But anyway, what I was saying is today is a public holiday and usually we would like hang with friends or just like hang as a family. But KJ Tills Media, which is Kurt's company, has like some big jobs coming up. So they've all just decided to work today. So they're at the front painting some props for a commercial they're filming, I think, tomorrow. And Foxy's helping. Cooking. Yeah, literally. How's your public holiday? No, we go to the beach at lunch. Yeah, 100%. All right, well that's fun for you guys. So yeah, they're technically working. My team are off on a public holiday today. Oh, I'm being summoned. Yes? I need my dollar. You need your what? I need dollar. Dollars? Dollars, yeah. What do you need? I need dollars. You need money? You want paper money, is that what you want? Yeah. For any um, international people watching right now, how pretty is our money? I That's a $10 I'm going, note. I can go in it's our $50 note. I love Australian money. It's so bright and fun. Here, that's nothing. Ooh, what are we, have we got a hungie in here? Do you have a sugar mummy? What is this? <laughs> what is this? A $100 note? Oh my gosh. That's all I have. What do you need money for, Fox? I need money, my daddy. So money. Did, you, did, he, did he tell you how much money? Yeah. How much? $2. Anyway, as I was saying, <laughs> he wanted to pay our lawn mowing man. Everyone's working and while I definitely have stuff to do, like I have so many photographs to take for Sunny and like planning and whatever, my hormones, this is what happened when I was pregnant with Fox, my hormones, they're just in nesting mode, which means like I'm just organizing everything and I just get so unmotivated for work. And it's really hard because like I said, I haven't done a good job of explaining to you guys our work structure. My hormones are telling me to like rest and just prep the house and get everything ready and people say oh just like listen to your body while that's fine for me I still have full-time staff that I support and like still work to pay them kind of thing like it's not just about me there's other people involved so it's really hard this time that I do have like full-timers and we have like projects and even the app like, has to keep going you know we have like paying subscribers finding the balance of like listening to my body and just nesting and organizing the nursery doing fun things like this like getting my rocking chair ready and then being in the office and working and like doing the things I have to do. When do normal people go on maternity leave? With Fox, I had no maternity leave before or after. I'm 34 weeks at the moment. It depends on where they work and what they want to do, but yeah, mm. that's probably the I'm not gonna go on maternity leave before I give birth. I'm just trying to have two months off afterwards. Like I'm still gonna vlog, but it's more like meetings and like campaigns and things like that. I don't know why I haven't been very open about like our work structure and like our team. I keep thinking you guys are gonna find it really boring if I just like talk about work and talk about our company structures and like who works for who and how many team members I have. I just get a bit awkward talking about like business and stuff like that. If you guys wanna know, I'm an open book, like I'm more than happy to explain it to you, but I do think opening up a bit more about like the business and work side of my life is going to make my personal life make a lot more sense because it's not just like, I don't mean like vlogging and Insta stories, like I don't consider that work. Although that's a huge component of my work, I'm talking about more of the things that I have to do. Yeah, I've just been like finding it really really hard to go into the office and be present in meetings and like bring that managerial energy because as the boss I have to be like overseeing everything and be really organized and that's normally me that is normally naturally me at the moment with my hormones and being pregnant 
I'm really, really struggling to like genuinely have that motivation to like be in that work environment. So it's like, I kind of have to fake it. Like I go into the office and I'm like, okay, trying to run meetings. And I'm actually just thinking in the back of my head about how many onesies I need to buy. Like <laughs> it's great. If you've been pregnant, you probably can relate. You just have this overwhelming urge to prep and nest and get things ready and like prepare your body for labor. And I don't know. Anyway, I had a midwife appointment yesterday and she tracked my belly, like measured my belly and I'm tracking exactly where I should be so I'm 34 weeks and I'm tracking at 34 and a half weeks which is great but you guys I pretty much finished I think I did finish I ended up buying some new coat hangers these are just little white felt ones with some rose gold and these are all just old stuff from Fox that I've kept that's obviously still in good nick and then this area I've obviously got his shoes I've got some milk bags white noise some soft play toys. Oh my gosh, if you're a first time mum, you need these in your life. These are reusable nipple covers. So I've got a bunch of those. I've got some chew toys and then some dummies. Who knows if he'll use them, but I've just got them on hand in case. Honestly, I have like 50 of these. I have so many. I don't even use the disposable ones at all. These are so good and they're just better for the environment. Tomorrow, I am sitting down and filming a full newborn essentials video. Things I wish I knew as a first time mum. It's tips and tricks that I'm telling my friends who are currently pregnant so we've got our first draw here like this was the most fun I've had literally like in months like organizing this was so therapeutic to me so I just bought these little separators from Ikea Fox and I did a little day trip there so I've got little singlets singlet onesies long sleeve leotard onesies short sleeve leotards socks beanies long sleeve onesies long sleeve onesies with like a leotard bottom pants, shorts. Then I didn't realize how many sleeping bags I had. These are basically all from Fox. These two are new, but everything else is old from Fox. My swaddles down here. Oh, I'm so excited to use like this one, this one. And then I've got some books, blankets, wraps, like the wraps that go around your body. I've got newborn nappies. I've got some burp cloths more newborn nappies and then just some nappy cream then we put together our bassinets but i'll show you that in the video that i'm filming tomorrow like my newborn essentials hey it's me sorry sorry i know we're just getting into the vlog you're getting comfortable but i just wanted to quickly stop and say a huge thank you and a shout out to today's sponsor kiwico if you watch my insta stories you would have already seen fox playing with this it's a subscription based program which sends these crates to your house we selected the koala crate for ages two to four because fox is almost three he'll be three in March. So KiwiCo sends you engaging, fun activities for your children that really encourage innovation, creative learning, and problem solving skills. KiwiCo is defining the future of play by making it engaging, enriching, innovative, and fun. Within each crate, you'll find activities and projects that have been designed by experts and also tested by kids. KiwiCo offers eight subscription lines, each catering to different age groups and topics from toddlers, teens, and even adults. As you can see, the crates are also super convenient, so this is a nice compact size so we're actually going away on Monday so I think we're gonna be bringing it with us Fox is obsessed with this first of all which was just a coincidence koalas are one of Fox's favorite animals it's all about the sounds of letters and learning the start sound of each food as we can see he's been playing with a lot lately. And look, I'm gonna be honest, I do a lot of hands-on play-based learning with Fox, but we haven't done a lot of alphabet play just yet. We've mostly been doing numbers and just like life skills. So getting this crate that's all based on alphabet play was really helpful for me because it's something that I haven't been doing very often. Now I did share this on my Insta story and a lot of you mums out there were super interested in trying it. I have linked them in the description box below. And if you click that link, you can actually get 50% off your first month if you wanna give it a try. So so like I said, just make sure you select the right crate for your child and we get the age two to four and Fox is three. So it's perfect for him. But a huge thank you to KiwiCo for sponsoring today's video. And without further ado, let's get back to the vlog. Yeah, anymore, he never vlogs. What do you mean? You're the worst husband of Instagram ever. What? Ever. Because have you noticed that all the reels on my page are of you and Fox? Because no one ever takes any video. Any yeah, it's because I'm exciting to watch. No, it's because You're I'm, boring. No, I'm on the ball. I'm on the ball. No. Sarah's over here making Vegemite toast for this like young child over here who eats triangles of Vegemite toast. I did toast. actually, that wasn't What's my choice. What's wrong with you? I'm a turtle, what can I say? Yeah, <laughs> you're a real one. I want to make mini triangles. <laughs> Fox, your toast is here. But I did put that together. Have you sat on it? No, no. It's a vibe. Get my impressions. Oh, this is good. Are you oh. sweaty? Are you sweaty? Nah, no, I'm, I'm dry sweat now. I haven't even had a coffee yet. Like I've had breakfast and a snack. I haven't even had a coffee. I forgot. 
You want to go out? You want a coffee? Yeah. All right, well, let's go make one. I'm going to have a coffee. Okay. Bye, baby coffee. Chino, baby Chino. Yeah, you can have a coffee. I'm going to have a big coffee. Massive coffee. So much caffeine. Big coffee? I'm going to try. I want a coffee. Boom. I'm going to have a coffee. This is Trapeka's new product, and it's coffee beans, clean coffee beans. There's, it's a medium I roast. Coffee. I love coffee too. I'm coffee. We must be related. Coffee ASMR. Should we make one for our house? Yeah. Coffee. Would you know what ASMR is? I want a big coffee. I'm gonna make a coffee, but do you know what ASMR is? My daddy had coffee. Do you wanna make everyone a coffee? I'm gonna be quiet, cause I wanna do ASMR. So we're gonna try and do ASMR with the toddler behind me. I'm coffee. I'm gonna make you one. Did you just burp during my ASMR? Do you have the audacity to burp during my ASMR? Get out. <laughs> Get out of my house. This is ASMR. I don't want your voice in it. Daddy, <laughs> I think about them here. Thank you. Mummies and Foxy's here. I'll mix it. Sure, you can mix it. Do you reckon we should make waffles today? Yeah. Cheers. Just wait until you're ready to cheers me. Just tastes like my normal coffee. Bean version and ground. I prefer beans in all coffee just because we do have a coffee machine. I'm just using oat milk with it. It does have that beautiful, rich coffee flavor. Certain beans I use, I either find them too strong and too mm. bitter, or I don't find them strong enough. Good. It tastes like my normal coffee. Show me your outfit. Right Whoa. Okay, pre-tournament drink. How are you feeling? Good. Do you reckon you'll win? Yeah. Yes, go. All right, before you go in, you got to bow. Bow like this. Yep, good job. Quick, get the arm. Ah. Arm bar. Yep. Stop, stop. Oh, oh. Good oh. work. Oh, no punching and wrestling. <laughs> Ref, you see that? Yeah, um, red card, but you're in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Black, pat. All right, let's go. Oh, take down. <laughs> Go pull the arm to me to your chest. Oh, good job. Oh, well done. Good escape. What are you gonna do? Do a single leg takedown. Go grab it. Oh, good, good. Oh, oh, very good. Oh. I actually can't believe this just happened. <laughs> I was honestly crying with awkwardness, excitement, disbelief. Yeah, embarrassment, really. I, I honestly can't believe that just happened. So Fox is currently napping. I thought I would just go outside for a little bit, get a bit of sun, maybe go for a swim. And I can't believe I just caught this on Insta story. If you already follow me on Instagram, Sarah's underscore day, then you would have seen the saga of what happened. You guys are just dying of laughter. Without further ado, let me just play to you what I just captured on my phone. Okay, important info so these stories make sense. The house behind us, they're not known for having parties, but like, they're kind of known for having parties. And I have this running joke on my Insta stories where I like pretend I'm invited to their party. I've never met the neighbors. I don't know who they are. It always just so happens that I'm like out by the pool when they're having a party and it's loud. Like I can hear conversations, I can hear everything. So again, nothing different. I go out the back and I pretend. I'm invited to their party because I can hear everything, but no one can see me. Also, I thought. Welcome to my pool party, guys. I don't have any guests. All of that stuff is just over the fence. So I'm just pretending I'm invited. I think that everyone's down low dancing right now. Hey. Okay. Yeah, I think that was right. Can you imagine if they just popped over and saw me raving by myself? They just yelled out that the sausages are ready. Do I just like put my hand over the fence? Like, should I just put it over the fence? How do I get my sausage sizzle? I'm feeling really left out. Yay! Woo, yeah, the boys. Great voices though. Do your neighbors follow you? I have no idea. If um, you do, love your party. Thank you for inviting me. I'm having the best time ever. If the sausages are ready, did you hear that? See if they put a sausage in my hand. That's not bad. Like, can you imagine? <laughs> I don't know why I'm finding this so funny. Can you imagine if I got a plastic plate and put some tomato sauce on it and put it on the fence? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I feel so exposed. <laughs> My nipples are leaking. <laughs> I'm so glad I storied this. Oh, that was hilarious. I got it. So <laughs> what are we making? The washall. Thank you. What do we need for waffles? Eggs. How many? Two eggs. Yes. Oh, the one handed. You. That was awesome. Way. Good job. What's up? You can have a cooking channel. Add the teaspoon. Vanilla bean paste. Bean paste. Perfect. It'll be so yummy. It's going to be so yummy. Is that how many we needed? No, it's six. Well, I think we need three. Which is this? Be so yummy. One tablespoon of coconut sugar. This is totally optional, but it really does add a beautiful depth of flavor. Don't touch my hands. Yeah, don't touch with your hands. That's enough. You know how to crack it? Yes. You ready? Over the bowl. We need one more thing. You're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> see ya. I'm doing this. Yeah, okay, I was, on the phone. I was on the phone to the midwife. We're not supposed to eat the butter, you know this. Please don't, otherwise we're gonna I'll, have to stop I'll, having fun. Okay. Okay, do you wanna I'll, stop, do you wanna stop cooking? No. Well then you need to do good listening. I'm doing this. Phone, stop. The light is green. I repeat, the light is green. Yeah. Seven? You're having seven? So much. What are you going to have on your waffles? I'm having blueberries and mushrooms. Mushrooms on your waffles? Yeah. One. Okay, what do you want on it? Blueberries. Scatter them on there. One, six. Two. Why is your favorite number six now? What happened to one, two, three, four, five? Did you just forget that existed? Why must blueberries be your favorite? You have very expensive taste, Fox Ocean Tills. No. You make your one? Sure, I'll go make mine. And this is what we had for dinner. We usually have this like once a week. It's my super easy herb and lemon baked chicken. I've been meaning to film this for such a long time now, but I just use any fresh herbs I have in the fridge. That's one thing I kind of always have on hand. Today it was just coriander and parsley, but you can use anything you love, whether it's like rosemary or thyme. I just love fresh herbs. So I'm using two huge handfuls here and chopping it up pretty finely. And then I'm going to zest a whole lemon. Again, you'll kind of notice here, I'm not using any onions or garlic, which is really common in a baked chicken, but Kurt is really sensitive at the moment to onion and garlic. This looks really gross, but I swear it's worth it. You wanna separate the skin of the chicken, like the chicken breast, from the actual chicken meat. And this is where you're going to stuff your herby mixture. So in there, I've just got herbs, olive oil, lemon juice, lemon zest, and lots of salt. And just use any extra on the outside, just massage it all together, add a little bit of extra salt, and I like to just set it in the fridge to kind of marinate and get nice and juicy. I'll usually do this like two to three hours before I'm going to cook, and then around five o'clock, I'll preheat my oven. Okay, look, if you have a microwave, just heat up a lemon in the microwave. I forgot about it, and I did it in the oven, and it ended up exploding, so later on, you'll see if there's like a big mess in my oven, it's from the explosion loaded lemon and I'm going to chuck that hot lemon in the carcass of the chicken it just helps it number one it tastes nice and lemony but secondly it helps it cook evenly because it's like a nice warm furnace in the middle I'm going to tie it up and I added vegetables now only because I had such a busy afternoon ideally you kind of want to add it just at like the last 45 minutes but I was lazy and it was easy this way so I do 190 degrees for around 50 minutes and then I will crank up the heat to 200 degrees and cook it until the skin is nice and crispy. And that is what we had for dinner. <laughs> My
Before you watch this final scene of the vlog, I always feel weird calling it a scene moment of the vlog. This is kind of bittersweet. So again, I feel like I've said this three times. If you watch my Insta story, you would have already known Fox had a really high temperature. He had a temperature of 40 degrees. But last night we gave him some Panadol and it kind of sent him like a bit like loopy. I was just like playing with Fox and like trying to make him laugh and make him happy. Kind of didn't realize Kurt was vlogging the whole thing. It was way too cute not to include in this vlog. So he's like telling us he feels amazing. Like he's not sick anymore, but like he was not. <laughs> he was not okay. I am Dr. Ophelia. What's your name? Fox Avenue. Fox Ocean Tools? <laughs> what seems to be the problem? I had a headache. Oh no. Oh no. Did you have a hair? <laughs> How does it feel? <laughs> I sound like Elmo. <laughs> Talia's. Oh, she is. Lilia. I love you. I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick of you. Do you feel better? No, I'm sick. Oh. <laughs> So much for coming on the pageant. We love having you. I want to do it by myself. <laughs> if you win this pageant, what are you gonna do with the money? Toys. Now, what are you drinking? Tell us what you're drinking. Orange. Orange juice. You had a hair first. That's how to get this glowing skin, huh? Huh? Amen. And we say amen. What a godly man. I'm having the fun day. <laughs> oh, I, I thought you were sick. No, I'm having the fun day. That's good. That's good, man. You a bit tired still? 